introduce you to a product called Tylose Powder. And basically what this does is it turns your fondant into gum paste. So basically fondant plus Tylose equals gum paste. And there's an easy formula. It's about 12 ounces of fondant to two teaspoons of Tylose powder, which some people also know as CMC. But uh, you don't really have to go by that. Sometimes you might need a less strong gum paste if you're modeling a figure and you need time to pinch and pull and emboss, that sort of thing. And then other times you might need a more firm gum paste if you're doing a big loopy bow that needs to hold its weight or gum paste flowers that sort of thing so there's really no wrong formula like there is in baking sometimes you just use more or less tylose powder to get what you need and an easy um way to think of it is if you kind of think of the fondant that you have as if it were like food on your plate and you're salting it then that's kind of a right way to start uh, so here i have just a little bit of the sweetwise prefer preferred brand of fondex fondant and just a little bit here so I'm taking my Tylos powder and I'm just going to kind of sprinkle on maybe that's a lot of salt for you <laughs> but if it's like bland mashed potatoes or something then that works and again it's not a wrong formula you can see kind of how light this powder is I hope on the camera that some of it's flying out a little bit but you can always pick up if there's any that's fallen down you can pick it up and just knead that in nicely and what you want to do with gum paste why you would use gum paste instead of fondant for instance is if you're doing like I said bows or flowers or figures that sort of thing that really needs to dry nice and firm that would be a great time to use a gum paste instead of a fondant so you'll just knead that in thoroughly and then you can wrap it up and let it rest for a while that's the situation I like to have that it's rested for like 20 or 30 minutes if you're going to use some of our nice silicone molds um, we offer a good variety of silicone molds um, and they're really nice and flexible what you want to do, why you want to use Tylose powder in your fondant for these is so it doesn't stretch out of shape. Um, you place it in the mold and if you're using fondant it, it loses its shape. Even if you're doing cutouts, using um, a round shape or a square, diamond, heart, anything like that, that you want cutouts, sometimes if you pick them up after you've cut them and put them on the cake they stretch out of shape. So by using the Tylose powder into your fondant, in, in essence you're using gum paste, it doesn't stretch out of shape and you still have that nice um, shape that you originated with. So those are some uses for the Tylose powder and I hope you enjoy it. Have fun with it.